On this episode of Pimp My Gun, we'll be trying out the mag of holding on the Jack Harbinger kit for the M4, which makes it capable of firing 50 caliber bullets. Let's go test it out. Look, I don't know a whole lot about guns, but what I do know is 50 caliber mean big bullet and big bullet usually mean big damage. So against these tier one zombies, it better be one tap and that's what we like to see. And unfortunately with this aftermarket part, there is no mag attachments for it. You just get this and the highest mag you can have is 15, but if it's doing some great damage on it, it shouldn't matter. But now how are we doing against some tier two zombies? Um, not the greatest. Ah. After a few consecutive shots, it seems like it did a little bit better. Huh. That's weird. Honestly, every gun feels weak right now with uh, how crazy incendiary rounds are going. 50 caliber wish it had incendiary. Honestly, that'd be insane. But these tier two zombies seem to be handling it very well. And I forgot that this is actually still full auto. I don't need to tap it. So let me get these guys grouped up and then we'll let it fly. Eh, it could still take out some tier two zombies, but... The damage feels inconsistent at best. Now let's see how we're doing against some tier three zombies. This Hellhound ain't going down easy, but it'll go down eventually. Maybe in two mags. There we go. Uh, let's go back over to tier three. I think the damages are a little bit different if we fight them in tier two. All right, zombies, I'm ready. Let's throw a decoy and let's go after this fully armored zombie. Can we even break his helmet? I can't even hit any shots. Hey, one more decoy. Let's try again. Can we get this broken? Not looking like it. We're barely doing any damage to him. Oh, there it is. Finally broke. And I just want to see how we're doing on flesh. Oh, not the greatest. And these zombies want me dead. They want my flesh. Where are you at? Yeah, not a whole lot. Let's get out of here. But that was all unpack a punched unupgraded. So let's go ahead and get this to legendary. Get this to pack two because currently I am stash broke. And I don't have any pack three crystals, but at pack two, can it handle these tier three zombies? It looks like it. Not bad. How much ammo do we have in the mag? 30? Okay, so it doubles. Not terrible. The reserve ammo is a little scary though. It only has 275, maybe 300. Let's, let's go hit up this ammo cache. So our reserve ammo is at 330 in the mag. So 330 is our total. So let's go ahead and pop our mag of holding, get the rest of our perks going. And let's go ahead and start up a tier two bounty to test this thing out. All right, please be good against this disciple. We stopped it from healing in one shot, broke his mask in about two. Already got him down to half health. The fire rate on this is very slow, but the damage seems a lot better after we pack a punch it. Obviously it should. But it seems a little bit more consistent. We took him out pretty fast. Pretty reasonably fast. As fast as the fire rate will allow us. Let's do another one. We got another disciple. It's time to go, pal. Like per bullet, sometimes it seems like it does like a good chunk. And then other times it just does like a slight amount. Maybe it is still a little inconsistent. I don't know. This gun got me confused. And let's do another one because we're still broke. Oh, this one's spawning all the way on top of this building. That's fine. At least we've got a scorcher here. Is Doka B here? Yup. You know what? We can try it against Doka B while we're over here. We'll let those mercs take care of our bounty. I'm here for you, Doka B. How much damage are we doing to you? Don't look like really any. But can you really do that much damage to her while she's over here? What about against a helicopter? Ooh, it takes a lot. We're still shooting. It's still not going down. Yeah, I don't think it's worth it to shoot at this helicopter. That was way too many shots. What about against normal mercs? Barely doing any, like it does no damage to armor, but the second the armor's broke, then we're getting through. That's crazy. You, you think a, a 50 caliber bullet would just absolutely destroy any armor. But go ahead and fly away, Dokabi. you coward. I'm still gonna light you up the whole time you're flying. Don't you worry about it. Oh, our bounty got killed. We'll go grab our reward in a minute. Come on, Dokabi. I know you want to move to your final resting place. Oh, and I'm getting low on ammo. I might want to clear out some mercs real quick so we can fix that problem. Ooh, it takes turrets out fast. That's nice. Nice little feature. This thing you really need to be aiming for the head. Trying to take out body armor with it feels like a waste of time and ammo. All right, we got our battlefield clear over here. Let's grab our reward. Didn't really get anything. Jug will help though. I'll take it. Now let's get back to Dokabi. Oh, we got some teammates here. You know what? Yeah, you can join in. Might as well. Oh, I'll take a free perk from that too. Look at me. Immediately rewarded for helping. And he's moving right in on Dokabi. Oh, shit. I guess I am too. All right, she's flying away. On to our last stop. 
I still haven't seen this do like any damage to her. Oh, here we go. We just need to break that helmet. I'm starting to see a little bit of that health bar go down. And she's distracted. Oof, this don't seem like the best weapon to be using against a warlord. I'm not going to lie. But now she's dead. I'll take that self-revive too. Yeah, I would not be using this against her again. I think our, our teammate might have helped out a little bit more than we know. I'm out of here. On to my next adventure. But now we finally got the funds. So let's get this pack three. How are we doing against tier three zombies now? One shot kill? Not bad. Almost as good as the incendiary rounds. But to be fair, that zombie wasn't armored. This one is though. Oh, it's... I, I couldn't tell. Was that a one or a two shot? Let's go find a fully armored. Oh, wait. In our search, we found a bounty. Let's do it. Please be an abomination. And it's a mimic. Damn it. Oh, here's a fully armored zombie. So one shot. Killed him. Okay. One shot kill if you hit him right in the head. Not bad. How are we doing against you, mimic? Why don't you turn around so I can see that, that nice mouth there. Let me get in them chompers. Oh, the damage is not the greatest. Like, it's not terrible, but we're not doing enough damage per second to get a reliable kill on this guy. We have to shoot a few shots and run. I'm glad there isn't any zombies around right now. And actually, the hip fire on this seems decently accurate. Got him to half health. This is a struggle. And this might be more for taking out groups of zombies, but I feel like it still shoots a little too slow to fit that niche. And he should be dead right about... Hold on. Here. Right about... And by here, I mean right about now. There we go. Anything good for me? Nope, of course not. Actually, maybe this has better bullet penetration than a normal weapon would. Let's try to get these zombies all grouped up and see how fast we can take them down. So let's shoot one shot here. Only killed one. That one killed two. Okay, we can clap slightly. But still, like, sometimes I'm hitting him in the head. And it's only doing, like, a, a very little damage. Other times, it's one-shotting him. But it didn't really convincingly go through multiple zombies. And my game crashed. Awesome. Didn't convincingly keep a stable game either. All right, we're just about set up as much as we were before we crashed. Minus our uh, golden armor plates. We got a fresh abomination right here. Let's go ahead and toss a decoy. Get the zombies away from me and start up this fight. Go ahead and shoot that laser. Can we break a face? Yeah, that was pretty fast too, but he did not get stunned after that. He immediately went into a charge. He did not like that. Let's Aether Shroud. Oh, he's shooting another laser. Will he keep going though? He will. What's he even shooting at? Nothing. He's just doing it for fun. Well, that's Monkey Bomb. Try to get rid of our zombie problem here and see if we can get this guy to shoot another laser or if we can break a face without him doing it this is doing some decent damage we already got him to half health with only breaking one face and we got another laser coming in monkey bomb going out and we're going down all right first one's free next one's gonna cost you go ahead and try me again there you go oh you didn't even get the chance immediately broke that and let's finish him off pause his health's going down decently fast, like, per shot. That ain't bad. I'll take that. And normally when tier 3's packed like this, I go fight the Stormcaller just to kill some time. Maybe some people can get all set up and go to the Dark Aether and, you know, leave some contracts for us. But the Storm's in tier 3, so... Stormcaller might already be dead, but let's go check. You still here, Stormcaller? Somebody already take you out? I'll walk around here for a second, see if he spawns in. Yeah, I don't think he's here. But we can at least try to take out some of these zombies. Ooh. Yeah, these, these powered up zombies in the storm, not going down very easily. Taking a lot of shots. They are very stubborn. Oh, and we got an HVT abomination to take on. Come on, buddy. I know you want to shoot that laser. Nope, you don't. It just wants to be difficult. We'll take a face for that. There you go, yell. Like, the damage on this isn't terrible. I feel like there's just better weapons out there. Like, if this gun's proven anything right now, size do not matter. These bullets are big as shit. And they are not doing a whole lot. I feel like just a normal M4 would be doing about the same amount of damage and maybe a little bit faster a time. It's unfortunate, because this is a really cool idea for an uh, aftermarket part. Just making it have, like, the largest caliber possible, or at least the largest caliber that I know of. Do this with an SMG. And keep the same fire rate. I don't know how to balance that for multiplayer, but that's that's not my job. There you go. Shoot another one. That's what we like to see. Keep hammering them. 
Ooh, he's pretty low. We can finish this fight. A little difficult when we run out of decoys. But he's very low. Yeah, the crit damage has, like, potential to be crazy. This is almost like the, the Jack Headhunter. But it's almost like RNG whether or not it does that crit damage. Very weird gun. Extremely weird. Now let's see if we can get our hands on a sigil. I wonder how many contracts that's going to take. We got another bounty. Is another abomination. You bet your sweet bippy. All right, buddy. You know the drill. Let's make this quick. Whoa. I have a knack for making these dudes fly. Seems like every time I fight one, they, they just go crazy in the air. They're hitting the ollies. Oh, there he goes again. Night, night, pal. Sleep tight. Oh, and there's our sigil. Let's go. Only took one more contract. But I'm greedy. I still want to do more. We got no loot. And I might as well get as much money as I can to lower our schematic time. Damn. Our time in tier three is coming to an end here. I think I still might be able to squeeze in this weapon cash contract. But with the storm being in tier three, we're kind of cutting it close. I think it's still worth a shot. Oh, come on. Give me that thermite. I'm throwing it right here. That should buy me a little bit of time. Because this thing is not holding off these huge hordes. It is not built like that. And that zombie just hit Usain Bolt speeds. We don't need that. What we need is for this contract to end. Thank you. What do we get out of it? Ah, oh, another self revive. I guess that's useful. But we got to make like a tree and get out of here. Honestly, I think I'm going to do the season two Dark Aether just to see if I can get a MAGA holding back. Because I already know this thing ain't making it through the new Dark Aether's escort. And basically any weapon from what I've been seeing has been able to take on that boss. So I just want to get out of here with a good amount of money, a good amount of loot, make this run worth it, and see how this does against zombies and the Dark Aether in general. I don't think their health really changes a whole lot between the different Aether portals. So let's go in. All right, gun. If you can do anything and prove to me that you're not just mid and give me some good loot here, you might be able to redeem yourself. And we get an abomination. We've taken on plenty of these. At least we know it's possible. How are we doing against some Dark Aether zombies? This is one unarmored. One shot. Shadow Blast did go off though. Still one shot. And against armor, it looks like it breaks at first. But it seems pretty along the lines of tier three. Not much different. I bet this would be way better on controller spamming Deadshot. But I still think a lot of other weapons outclass it by a mile. It's just too slow for the damage it does. Come on, Abomination. There you go. Get that laser going. Come on, let's get another face broken. Oh, looks like he wants it too. Let's go for the middle. Can we get through this without going down? Nope. Backed into some coral. We still got a few self revives. We're all right. No armor though. And our ammo is running low. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to throw a thermite down. These zombies are going to walk through it. And you guys are going to drop me some armor and some ammo. Let's do another one. And try not to go down. Ooh, emphasis on try. Nut hair of health. And can we break this guy's face? I think we can. Either that or he stopped lasering because we went too far around him. Oh, he's going for another one, though. Yeah, it looks like just one face. But something just broke there. Huh? Was he just lasering out of one? Either way, he's down to one now. Just don't know when that happened. And here's another one. Damn, he still has so much health. And the zombies aren't helping. Come on. We got another thermite. Honestly, if he shoots another laser, I'm throwing the thermite right in his mouth. I do not have self-revives to be risking right now. Or we could just kill him. Let's just do that. I just need you to keep that mouth open. I don't even care if you laser. I just need you to open up. Let me in there. Oh, this should be it. Nope, he's charging at me. Stop that. This should be it. There we go. Is that taking everything out with it? It should. And we got a whole lot of nothing from that. Awesome. At least we got another self revive. A little more insurance. On to our outlast. Get it started up. And hopefully we can survive this without going down. Just got to play a little more safe. Any of you guys want to drop me another thermite that I could perhaps use? That'd be very helpful. So I've already burned through two of them. Just at the start of this contract. Let's throw another decoy. Oh, there's another thermite, I think. No, that's a shock stick. Awesome. There's the thermite we're looking for. With the deadware detonators and everything, I feel like Molotovs have been used way more. But... Zombies drop thermites so often here in the Dark Aether, and they're so good at just controlling where the horde goes. As long as I throw it right and not right on that wall. But we survived long enough to make it through the contract, even with my stupidity. Mackle holding, please. Thank you. Appreciate it. 
in Elder Sigil. Now Legendary Aether Tool and we'll be square, game. So why don't you help me out? What do you say? In the Cashmere. And let me get this reward for free. Oh, an insta-kill. That helps out. So I can do one of these, Thermite myself, and we're safe. You're gonna have to use a cashmere for that one. I'm gonna have to, never mind. I'm gonna say I needed the Aether Shroud there. Hit a little too late. That's all right, because we can use our Aether Shroud here and finish the contract. Hopefully I don't get knocked before I'm done doing this. There we go. Easy. Now the cashmere's for our safety. And wow, a pack one crystal from the Dark Aether. Man, I could really use that here. And they gave us a blood burner key. That was ridiculous, dude. This game is dicking me down. Get me the hell out of here before I lose my mind. We still somehow got 100,000 XP and three hours off. I don't even know how. Oh, because I had 3,000 zombie kills? What? No way we got that many kills this gun. You know what? Actually, let's not question it. I will take that schematic time off. So if we got 3,000 kills that game, maybe the gun was doing better than I thought. Honestly, it, it felt very mid. Like, the damage on it's okay. Like, it's it's nice. I guess it's above average uh, for a per bullet shot on an AR. But if you want something to do like high damage per shot with like a very low fire rate like this gun has, might as well just use like the XRK Stalker or the SAB or the like whatever sniper out there. I feel like any sniper is probably better damage wise. And any AR is probably going to do the same amount of damage this was doing just a bit faster because the fire rate on it again, is very slow. But I guess you're gonna grind camos out for the M4 if you haven't already in zombies. Using the 50 caliber kit isn't that bad. It'll one-shot zombies pretty easily. It's just, I, I don't know. It's, uh, you can take it or leave it. Use the M4 normally or throw on the aftermarket part. I don't think it makes that much of a difference. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate your love and support and I will see you in the next one. Later.